Alright, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Dash. Double honor right. Shalom. to the apostles, to the elders at Great Millstone, Ruel, peace, blessing, salutation to the elect of Israel. All right, we are here to prophesy the downfall of America. That's right. So we are the great. And uh, to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, so-called Native Americans, who are the Israelites, and we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So we may look like the other nations. So this is not a black thing, all right? But if you believe in it's true, well, guess what? You're Israelite. That's right. Yep. So we just gonna go into prophecies, go into these breakdowns all right, on Babylon the Great, which is America, because the Lord is ordained this place to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man, by fire and by fire from the chariots, the so-called UFO, which your government all right, is coming out about that the chariots are true, the so-called UFOs, man. So I, I, I read this book of Revelation chapter 18 and verse one, it says, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power and the earth was lightening with his glory. Verse two, and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitations of devils and the whole of every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So that, uh, you know, uh, that unclean bird, um, this, this is talking about after the, after the destruction, you're gonna have uh, unclean animals, unclean fowls and birds dwelling here in America. That's right. Once this place get uh, destroyed by, you know, nuclear fire, it's gonna be uh, what? Owls. Okay, unclean birds, satires. Yep, I got you. This is the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 34. Because the scripture say Babylon the Great is fallen because often the Lord's gonna destroy this place, man. All right, from like brothers say from sea to shining sea, man. This place is the, the hub of wickedness that's ruled by the Edomites, the so-called white people, man. Like the brother said, after this fire goes, after the fire hits and the smoke and the smoke clears, nothing's gonna be here but desert creatures. So I got Babylon, you know, goes into Babal, which means confusion. Yep. This place is uh they push forth confusion. Yep. This is the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 34. Isaiah chapter 34 in verse, I start at verse uh, six. It says, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat, fat with fatness and with the bloods of lambs and goats, with the fat of kidneys of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumi. The goats represents the people. Mm -hmm. Idumi is the Greek way of saying Edom. Right. The Lord is going to uh, take down Esau, Edom, so-called white man, and these different nations. Yeah. But primarily Esau, Edom, because they are in rulership. They're the wicked. I do mean. When you look into it, it means Edom. Right. Yeah. So the Lord said He got a sacrifice in this place, man. When you sacrifice them, you burn it. All right. These people, they're gonna be the, they're gonna be the, the lambs and the goats. All right. This book Isaiah chapter thirty-four. In the verse, so he said he got a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. America's Idumia, man. All right, Spir spiritually Idumia. Verse 7 And the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made with made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. Right, what verse is that? That's verse uh, 8. So this, so the Lord is not just destroying this place for nothing. Why is the Lord going to destroy America, man? All right, because what the rape, murder, and robbery of the children of Israel. Yeah, yeah. All right, the the the, the wickedness that they push, they put themselves up as the Most High. This is the scripture said. This is the place where our Lord was uh, exiled at, man. Right. For the you know? controversy of Zion. Look at what these different nations have done to us. Okay. They forward the affliction. Yep. Start with Esau, Edom. You got it. 
verse Isaiah 34 verse 9 the screen it's like in the screams thereof shall be turned into pitch and the dust thereof into brimstone and the land thereof shall become burning pitch right so America will burn right it will be a desert here desolation that's according to the Bible yep you got it verse 10 it shall not be quenched night nor day the smoke thereof shall go up forever meaning a long time from generation to generation it shall lie waste none shall pass through it forever and forever so people not going to dwell here but unclean animals will you got it right because you're gonna go in verse 11 but the car the carment the carment the carment it's like it and the bittering shall possess it the owls also and the raven shall dwell in it and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness you're not going to know where arizona was you're not going to know where uh nevada right new york on the map you see what the line right the uh what what's called the uh, border yeah the borderline divide the division because it says when you go to like georgia it says welcome to georgia or, like welcome to south carolina welcome to north carolina and shit like that the, the land of unwalled uh, villages. Yeah. It's, okay. This place is surrounded by water. Okay. You got it, bro. This is Isaiah 34, verse 12. It says, They shall call the, the nobles thereof to the kingdom, but none shall be there, and all her princes shall be nothing, and thorns shall come up in her palaces, nettles and brambles shall slot in the forests thereof, and it shall be an habitation of dragons. In a court of owls, the wild beasts of the deserts also shall meet with the wild beasts of the islands, and the satyr shall cry to his fellow. The screech owl also shall rest there, and find for herself place a place of rest. Right. So once again, this is a precept going into what Revelation 18. Right. All right. How unclean fowls and devils will dwell here. I'm talking about unclean animals. You got it, bro. Verse 15, and there, sh and there shall the great owl make her nest and lie and hatch and gather under her shadow, and there shall the vultures also be gathered, every one with her mate. You know what I'm saying? Unclean birds, Gotham City, all darkness and gloominess here. Owls turn their head, looking all crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Big ass roaches. Uh, hey, the scriptures talk about newly created creatures. You know? You got more than that? This is uh, Ezekiel 35 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against me. If I may say, modern day Mount Seir is America, man. If you get that in Genesis uh, 36, I believe. Esau, Esau dwells in Mount Seir. This is this is Esau um, capital, as you can see, man. Yep. This is Genesis 36, verse 8. Thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Yeah, so Esau is Edom, and the Lord commanded us to prophesy against this place, man. All right, and what the prophets always did, they talked about war, evil, and the pestilence, man. You got it, Mark. And say unto it, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and will make thee most desolate. Yep, the Lord is against uh, America, He's against His government. Yeah. All right, this, this, the structure that Esau has, He's against this place. Yep. Okay, why? Because this place pushed forth wickedness. The Lord is, the Lord is against wickedness. And Esau is the border of wickedness, He is the wicked. And I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. There you go. See, it's all throughout the scriptures. Precept upon precept. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. To this very day. Yeah. All right. Esau has a continual, ongoing, perpetual yeah. hatred against your tribes. Right. Okay? To, the, to this very day. 
in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. He saw, you know, he loves blood. He loves to shed blood. Yeah. Okay, he loves, uh, he likes to eat his uh, meat rare, mid rare. Yeah. Man, steak he's tartar. A, he's bloodthirsty. Steak tartar. Yeah, steak tartar. Okay. So guess what? Blood is going to pursue him. Vengeance. All right. The God of recompense. Payback. We're talking about the God of Israel. We're not talking about Jesus. Jesus is not real. Okay, we're talking about Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai. That's right. It says, uh, Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate yep. and cut off from him, cut, cut off from it him that pass about and him that return. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that they are slain with the sword. Yeah. So the Lord's going to destroy this place, man. That's why we telling our people right, to repent, man. Right, the Lord is, Lord is uh, crushing this place, you no, know, bringing this place down as we speak, man. It's getting worse and worse out here, man. So the Lord said he's going to destroy this place. Check this out. Yeah, man. The Lord gonna destroy your ass, man. He got a a, a scarf on the comment board. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's a he's a fan. Yeah. That's why he's watching. Big time fan. <laughs> right. He's a fan. Fan. Fan, fan boy. A fan, fan boy. boy. Yeah. He gonna be he gonna be caught up in that fire. Hey. He said uh, Chris Hansen should investigate your leader. Chris, man, shut up. All right, man, whatever. We're going to still prophesy. And hey, she was saying in the last, you know, <laughs> second Peter. Last you, had more, you had more than that? No, that was a book. Get that second Peter 3. Boy, you scoffers out there. Man. Hey, look at the Pope. Yeah, See? niggas ain't talking. Oh, uh, Dr. <laughs> Michael Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you ain't going to Dr. Dr. Michael Brown page? Yeah. He's touching people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about <laughs> brother, women? brother Polite? Right. Brother No Light. He's right. a... He's a persona non grata. Right, right, that's what I'm saying. So, you scoffers, it's part of the movie. Hey, yeah. it is what it is. We're gonna, we're gonna continue to prophesy, right? Yeah, you need scoffers. Yeah. We, we, we need people like you. What's his name on the comment board? Chris his Hansen name is, uh, so hard is a child. Okay, well, we, well, we need people like that. Every other word. Because yeah, if, you, yeah. if you didn't, if you didn't scoff, what would you do? What would your life be? It would be, right. it would be yeah. totally meaningless. Yeah. Exactly. So we bug give out. you a reason to exist. Yeah. yeah he probably he probably a fallout. Probably a fallout. A weirdo. Agent. No life. Of all the things you could be doing in this world, you'd rather be on our conversation. Yeah, because you're a fan. Yeah. <laughs> he probably got the notifications on this shit. Second Peter 3 and 3. Knowing this first, that there should come in the last days scoffers. Yeah, so in the last days, it's going to become scoffers, man. All right? Coming against the truth, you know, uh, 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 slandering, lying, you know, uh, uh, basically be enemies of, of Yahweh Shah. You got it, brother. Walking after their own lust. Yeah, that was the, that was of your own lust, man. And all these people like that, man, because they're deceived. They're comfortable. That's why the Lord about to bring hell upon these people, man. You got it, brother. Yeah. In the last, then we in the last days right now. The last days of Esau, you know, so-called white man's rulership. But you need, if you're an Israelite, your ass need to be repenting. But it's only for the elect, though. Hey, they, they got a, they got a, what, a, a Epstein Island. Yeah. What about that? Cracker. <laughs> you see? Right. What about that weirdo? You're not coming okay, up okay. against him? Right. Hey, that's why, hey, the Lord gonna destroy all you scoffers, man. It's, it's saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Yeah, and that's how people think. They be, they think because nothing happens. All right, nothing is happening now. Think of that Ecclesiastes eight and eleven. Yeah. They said, oh, we heard this years ago. They we heard this. But my grandma, and my granddaddy be saying that, man. He said, where's the promise of his coming, man? The Lord's coming in your the Lord. The trip said, this generation shall not pass to all be fulfilled. You got it, brother. It's uh, Ecclesiastes eight verse eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. That's right. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah, just because the Lord ain't judge you there, uh, in the, at that point, at that moment, 
All right, your, your heart is fully set in you to do evil. Like you're just going to continue on, continue on, thinking the Lord don't judge. But the Lord, is a, he's long-suffering. The NLT says, when the crime is not punished quickly, people feel it is safe to do wrong. So they get, they wax worse <laughs> and worse, man. As your ship says, uh, uh, Proverbs 29 and 1. Get that, Proverbs Yeah. They, they're going to be judged without remedy. Proverbs 29. It ain't nothing but a nigga. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah. yeah. Probably a fallout. Yeah, he mad. Proverbs 29, verse 1. He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck yep. shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. Yeah, so they're going to be destroyed without remedy. They're being reproved. Yeah. Go back to this is Ezekiel 12 and 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel? Right. Saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease, right. and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, yep. but say unto them, the days are at hand and every effect of, of every vision. Yeah, so the, the Lord said, all right, the, the words that he said is going to come to pass. Our people, they have they have, they have different sayings, like, oh, the Lord's not coming yet. This is not my lifetime yet. But it's that time. Continue on that, Brother Pichon. It says, uh, For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. Right. Continue. For I will speak. For I am the Lord, I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Yeah, so the word of the Lord gonna come to pass, man. It shall no, it shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, yep. will I say the word and will perform it, said yep. the Lord God. Yeah, so the Lord said, in your days, he's gonna he gonna say it and perform it, man. Revelation 18. Yeah. Bible for sure. We're just gonna focus on prophecy. Yeah, go to the breakdown. If, 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 if a nigga can't get it, we moving on, man. Y'all people, you got Christians coming up to the uh, camps. So he's anti-Messiah. Right. Trying to question us and getting defeated. Yep. You got it. This is the book of Revelation chapter 18 and verse 2 again. It says, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitations of devils in the hold of every foul spirit. In a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Yeah, talking about unclean animals. Going to dwell here after the destruction. Babylon the Great will be destroyed. Babylon the Great is America. It's not talking about ancient Babylon. This is a future prophecy. Whom you people do not like to uh, adhere to. You so-called Christians don't go into prophecy. You go into John 3.16 all day. And still don't understand that. You got it, bro. Right. Because this is not this is not talking about ancient Babylon. This is because this is this is when the, uh, John the Revelation. This is during the Roman Empire. All right. This is uh, Revelation 18. What well, the Roman Empire when John the Revelator was on the island of Patmos. Verse three it says, "For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornications with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies." Wine talking about philosophies. The philosophy of Babylon the Great. All right. Yeah, and all these nations, they drunk upon the wine. They took on the philosophies. That's why you got these happy people all, what, in Thailand, all over the yep. in different countries. Right, because of America, man. All through South America. You got uh, Moab and different nations dressing like Esau, Edom, right. with the suit and tie. Okay. Look at the uh, look at Hong Kong, yeah. the buildings. It looks like Times Square. Yeah. Okay. With all the lights. South Korea. South Korea. I just show you who's running the world, who's in control. Right. Esau, Edom, starting with the elite banking bankers, the Rothschilds. It says, um, I'll read the second part of the of verse three. It says, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, man. So these nations got rich off of America, man. All right, because America, what they endpoint everything, man. That's why you go to a grocery store, made in India, made in Indonesia, made in Mexico, made in China. They're the biggest import. They don't export anything. Okay. Verse four, 
And I heard another if a brother get that uh, Jeremiah 51 verse 7 for a precept. Baba Kushar. Dealing with the wine. Baba Kushar. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, uh -huh. therefore the nations are mad. All right, they staggering, they drunk. What? Physically? No, spiritually. They're drunk spiritually, man. Okay, now the nations are mad. The beast shall hate the whore. Okay, these different nations are going to come up against America eventually and shoot missiles at America, according to the Bible. That's right. That's it on that. That was it on there. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. And that you receive not of her plagues. That represents the elect of Israel being being up in those chariots, the so-called UFOs. Okay? Come out of her, my people. It's gonna be a voice actually heard. Right. And the Lord is going to uh redeem the elect. The brother get what uh what's that? Matthew 24? What 31, I believe. Uh, he said, come on, her, my people, man. Right. Everybody, like, all nations is in the fucking Babylon. Right. <laughs> because that's, it's a melting pot. But the Lord said, come on, her, my people. That's the elect of Israel. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather his, gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other right right that's that great deliverance yeah and the, and the, the scriptures also talk about the lord's going to gather the elect from the land of the north which is america and all the lands that he has scattered the elect man this is when our lord yahweh shy who the world ignorantly called jesus christ this is when he returns man another priest up dealing with you know being uh in those chambers right right oh uh, what's that uh isaiah 26 verse 20 come my people my people enter thou got more more on okay come my people Isaiah 26 verse 20 come my people enter thou into thy chambers shut thy doors about thee hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Right. The chambers represent. Um, yeah, the chambers represents the uh, so-called UFOs, man, the chariots of Israel. Okay, while the, the missiles is coming down, the elect of Israel will be beamed up. Okay? Lord's righteous anger is indignation. Well, so who's going to be hidden from that dest destruction? The elect of the nation of Israel. He said, enter into the chambers and to the, in the Lord's indignation pass, man. That's the only way you're going to be uh, saved. Like, that's that's really the salvation being beamed up from this fire, man. All right, just how Noah, Noah built the ark to the saving of his house. When the, the Lord told Noah to build to uh, build that ark, and then he's going to flood the whole earth. And how was Noah, how was Noah saved? All right, by the Lord, all right, preserving him, man. <laughs> and that's why the Lord, he gonna, he's going to beam up the elect so what? They can be saved from that fire, man. These so-called pastors not talking about this. They don't even know what it is. They don't know. Put the Bible down. Get off from the pulpit. You see T.D. Jakes, he threw. Okay, all these false prophets, they threw. Joel Osteen. Bishop Leroy Thompson, Benny Hinn, Billy Graham. I mean, he died. What, Franklin Graham, his son? All these false prophets, they, they don't have the answers. You got it, bro. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquity. Her sins has reached the heavens. Well, the man of sin has been revealed. The man of sin is, is ruling. He saw Edom. So therefore, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. 
The sins reach the heavens. What's, what they pushing for? Wickedness? Right. They pushing for uh, uh, LGBT. LGBTQ, YZ, all these different alphabet weirdos. That's against the Bible. Right. They push for sodomy. They push for uh, black culture, Latina culture. Right. Death, uh, 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 covetousness. Murder. Murder, debate, maliciousness. <laughs> Deceit. Fleshly, uh, no, you got it. No, you got it. I say in, the, in these Americans, they, 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 they're with it. All right, they're, they're with the what the what the their rulers push out, man. They're deceived. Yeah, as the rulers are the people. So yes, the wickedness have exceeded, exceedingly polluted the whole earth. America is wicked, and you know it. Right. If they if they had like a drag show right here, you'll see people just lining up on both sides. They're parading this shit, man. You're supposed to put a sodomite to death, man, but they don't they don't put they don't push that law in this in, the, in this wicked place. Man. They got something called NAMBLA. NAMBLA. Created by David Thorstad, I believe, in 1979, which stands for North American Man Boy Lover Association. Where's the outcry? Weirdos. You got women over men. You got all these all these men out here. Majority of them don't have beers. That's a law to keep a beer, man. Yep. That's a simple law. They, so, they push forth uh, men being effeminate. Yeah. They push forth uh, drags reading books naked with their rods out in front of children. Revelation 18 and verse 5, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. What, what is sin? Sin is transgression of the law, man. All right, when you break the law, that's, that's considered that sin. All right, verse six reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her sorry double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she she have filled filled to her double so esau eating the so-called white, white man he gotta get double for what he did to us man i all he had us in these fucking um these uh fucking fields these cotton fields man he slaughtered uh um northern kingdom put them in put them in have small pots made treaties i broke them that nigga, Alan, uh, uh, Andrew Jackson, uh, they called him the Indian, Indian killer. He made the, uh, the Seminole, where the, the natives from the uh, east, east Coast go all the way to the West Coast, the Midwest. Walking on feet, man. You, you got to receive double for that, man. Yeah, human zoos. Okay. Buck breaking. Alligator bait. Picnic. Okay. Lynching. Chopping off Jake Ross while they been lit. Chopping off their limbs. Burning them. Burning them. Taking the picture like this. And, and that wasn't too long ago. All right, and they, like the bar said, what you say? Those like the mayors and stuff, they would come out. The politicians? Yeah, the politicians. Yeah, that was like a, a, an event. Yeah. They would, people would let the uh, workers off and work early so they can go and see a nigger get burned and hang. Yeah. Oh. That was, a, that was uh, America's favorite pastime. Yep. Even uh, just came out that you had this one prison, I forget exactly where, in one of these, you know, old hit racist towns. And they went into the, the prison and kind of found out that they, they was doing all type of wickedness to the prisoners. Even people were in like solitary confinement for 20 years. Damn. Even Jay said they, it was, like, they were torturing people, feeding them maggots. Damn. You know, like, Said it was like multiple people in there, multiple Jakes in the prison, speaking in numbers, like totally yeah. gone. Speaking in numbers, you know, speaking in ir erratic ways, like they just yeah. gone from being in solitary confinement. Destroyed them. Yeah, you know. So they I do shit like that right now. Yeah. People, hey, are people still getting lynched this very day? Yeah. So, it's like, so I said that. Imagine what they did to us in slavery. Right. Right. When it was legal. Yeah. yeah. But there's a time that's gonna come, that's gonna that's gonna uh, be worse than that. Yep, Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble. So how how you like them apples? Yep. Yeah, they are gonna really show their horns then. Right. This is uh, Revelation 18 and verse I read verse six again. It says, "Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she have filled, filled to her double." So just how we drunk of that cup, you got to drink of that cup, man. That cup of slavery, trembling, right? That hard shit, you got a drink of that, man. 
Verse 7. Well, I, well, you know, the Christians, they speak about uh, when we bring up this topic, they say we hate hateful. Right. Somebody has to fulfill that prophecy. So right. if it's not us, then who is it? Yeah. You don't have the answers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, these so called Christians don't go into prophecy at all. They yeah. don't know They don't know prophecy. Yeah. They just so, want to. No, you got it, they, they just want to walk up and be a menace to the society. There you go, menace. They're following <laughs> us around. Yeah, Why are Christians following why, us around? Why are you following us? Leave us alone. Weirdos. Yeah, you tell me. yeah. yeah they bugged out. Uh -huh. Is that Revelation 18 and verse 7? How much she have it's like how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Alright? So America lived lived deliciously, man. Alright, this, this is a careless city. Ah, careless city. Right. They have that, that's the mentality that they have. They, they feel like they're not gonna be judged. They think they're gonna continue to rule forever. I shall I shall see no what to say. I'll read again. Revelation 18 and verse 7, how much she have glorified herself and live deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she said in her heart, I sit a queen, in am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Yeah, that's the Yeah, that's the mindset of these people. They don't think they're gonna see sorrow. They out here on this on uh on, on Hollywood Beach, you know, yeah. holding hands, drinking pina colada, not knowing, hey, th this war is gearing up. Yeah. Like Putin, Putin's going the bitch is going to war with America, man. China's bitchy gonna go to Iran. America's own allies gonna bitchy go up against them. Right, but they think they're not gonna see no sorrow. You got that. They think Trump, when they think Trump, they think Trump gonna come here and make America better again, that they're gonna get better jobs and, and this state's gonna be prosperous. We telling you that this kingdom is falling. You got it, brother. This is Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, God have said, What hast thou to do to declare my statues? Or that thou should take it, should should have take my covenant in thy mouth seeing thou hatest instruction and cast of my words behind thee when thou sawest a thief then thou consent consentest with him and hast been partaken with adulterers thou givest thy mouth to evil thy tongue frameth deceit thou sitteth and speaketh against thy brother thy slandereth thy own mother's son these things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Like you said, since sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, so these devils thought, shit, I'm, I'm just keep beating these niggas' ass and nothing is happening. I'm going to just keep doing it. But here it is, the Lord done raised his men back up. And the low level Chris, the low level Edomites, they don't know what the hell is going on. Right? Vocab Malone's on down. They don't know what the fuck is happening. They're, they're looking and saying that the Hebrew Israelites is a problem. But the elites are like, oh shit, we, don't, we ain't got that much time. Yeah. <laughs> See? And they know they don't have that much time because he's waking his people back up. And he and these elites know that it's that that they're Edom and that the Lord's gonna kick their ass. Right, yeah. That's why they got bomb shelters. Underground bunkers because the elites they know, they know you regular peons, you don't really know like that. They have no idea, they, they ready for this, they ready for Christmas and the Super Bowl. Yeah, New Year's. they thinking that we just this is just some Black Panther shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're not associated with black, yeah. Uh, We're not black, yeah. Okay, like, are not black Hebrew Israelites. Black guys just coming on, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are not. Uh, I got some. I just want to say too that people like vocab, they uh, he, they gonna start to see that you know this is the truth. Mm -hmm. Vocab, he, he he's starting to see because he did that interview with uh that guy Ruslan Ruslan. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. He was talking about how you know Christian uh what he calls he, Hebrew Israelism, Israelism. Yeah. Is is really the only growing so-called religion yeah that's what he said yeah he said christianity is, is dying 
He said Islam is is growing, but that's due to immigration. Mm -hmm. So nobody's really being converted. He right. says it's the fastest growing religion in North America, basically. Right. Yeah. Something really, like that. Really, really the world. Yeah. You know. Truth is liking this truth like a mustard seed. Then it starts to grow. You know what I mean? So this truth is growing. It's growing. So and 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 Volca, he he he's a lesser luminary. Yeah. Yeah, he sent. Okay, he's an agent. Yeah, he's a, he yeah. sent. Yeah. You know, he said himself he had the, the Jesuits gave him a knock on the door. Yeah. yeah. So in order to tell the truth, I mean, in order to tell a lie, you gotta know the truth. Yeah. You feel me? He, he just hope. He really, he just hope that he's an Israelite. Yeah. You know, and that's his. It's his great hope is to to stop what we doing. He making it his business. It's personal. Yeah. With that dude, <laughs> because he feel his spirit that this may be right <laughs> and he only hope his only hope like Apostle Star, his only hope is that that uh he's an israelite or or we're not the israelite we're wrong you know what i'm saying but people like him as this truth go on the scripture say they shall know that our prophet wasn't among them that go that go for everybody but i got something to back up uh what you said in uh, ezekiel uh this is ezekiel 38 and verse no this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, and verse Ezekiel 38 and verse 11. I'll start at I'll start at 10. All right, going into how you know this place here in America, as it, that was Isaiah 47, you know? Uh Where it says uh, it, uh, careless. Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, I think I quoted it, but this is Revelation. Okay, yeah, I quoted it. Right, but I got something to back you up. This is Ezekiel 38 and 10. Thus saith the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And this is referring to the the gathering or company of nations spearheaded by Russia, which the Lord is raising up. And, and giving them the spirit and power to, to come together and destroy Babylon the Great, which is America. Totally annihilated, which is gonna manifest at the cusp of World War III, right? By way of those thermonuclear missiles, okay? Verse 11, that's what you see going on right now. It's, the, the prophecies are coming to pass. They, they've been, they talking about World War III. That's, that's mainstream news, okay? Verse 11, and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. Right. America. Babylon the Great. They think it's safe here. Right? Yep. America can't be touched. That's the mindset. Yep. We, did, we got the greatest army. Yep. Even though this place is, is being, you know, systematically destroyed right. on every level, inside out, motherfuckers getting put to death in every major city in America day, on a daily. Right. You know? You got millions of God know who coming through the southern border. You know? Literally unwalled villages, literally. Yeah, literally. Yep. Right. Just walk across the Yeah, you just yeah. Come on in. <laughs> you see like on the news, migrants running to the to make it across the border, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like you can see them running. You know? From and a, from a sky viewpoint, you know. Right, right. And 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 that's the spirit of this nation, of this country. Like only a nation that is super proud don't have a care in the world with with, with just leave their borders wide open for motherfuckers to yeah. walk in you know what i'm saying right so let's say if it was one person that had the power to just say you know how to leave the border open wouldn't wouldn't all the sensible people gather together and say no nah, fuck that we're not we're not doing that yeah even in the ancient times that's why you had gates that's why you had uh yeah gates around your your yep. city man gates so, and, and so watch nobody me. can just come in that motherfucker man i got to show you as long as they got bread and circus they're good Good, right? Yeah, yeah they, 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 it's like they living in La La Land. Like, there's no danger. Nah, no, right. Yep. No sense of danger. 
No fear. Like 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 a like a nation can't invade this place. Hey, Salaka, what the brother said, bread and circus. Yeah, bread and circus. They distracted by TikTok, social media. That's it. Tumblr, Instagram. That's right. That's why that that's why they come out here to fucking get fucking take pictures and and, and be in the body so they could just post it online. Acting like, like they did something. Yeah. I got a preset to back you up, Ashton. I got a preset too. Okay, this is the book of Zephaniah. Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Zephaniah chapter 2. I just get to the point. Verse 15 says, This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me. Huh? How has she become a desolation, a place for the beast to lie down in? Everyone that passes by her shall hiss and wag his hand. Right, that's their mindset. Read it, read it again. This is Zephaniah 2 and 15. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, uh -huh. that said in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me. Right. Pride. Right. Well, who's ruling? He saw Edom. Yep. His yep. pride is lifted up. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the rejoicing city full of mirth. Yep. Bacchus spirit. Yes. Reveling. Right. Yep. All right, Full reveling, up. yep, yep, drinking and, and, and party mm -hmm. and bullshit, getting high out there, getting high out okay. there. Okay, people getting high out your mind and coke. Up. You still say you believe in God? You hypocrite, weirdo, <laughs> weirdos. <laughs> Got it, bro. This is F9 three and verse fifteen. It says, "This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart." I am, and there is none beside me. He's drunk out the spirit, though. Murph, he was just saying it. It's, 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 <laughs> yep. Yep. See that? See? That's the yeah. spirit. The Lord, the Lord. The Full Lord. of it. <laughs> Do all the carelessly. She probably yeah. hide, yeah. hide out of her yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that dwell carelessly. That's why the, the, the scriptures like in the Babylon to, to a woman. Like, to, to a woman, because that's, that's the spirit of a woman. Like, Karen. Oh, okay, just folly, la 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 la. Right. Yep. Girls just want to have, have fun. fun. Hey, rise up, you careless women, women that are yep. at ease. Yep, yep, yep. Really, really, it just, it just shows that you're an idiot. Yeah. The scriptures tell you, the scriptures speak about, you know, uh, a wise man don't s s smile scarcely. Yes, right. Anybody that's all oh, giggly, having fun, you're, you're fucking retard. Yep. Look at what, what's going on in the world right now. What's, what is there to laugh about? Yeah. Hey, meanwhile, meanwhile, they're poking the bear. Right? Right. They poke in the bear. I seen I seen an interview with uh with, with Putin. Putin say Putin say his weapons like the hypersonic missile is more stronger and he say he have ten times more than all the NATO combined. Woo. So I don't know what they've been doing for the last forty years, but <laughs> they've been getting busy. Right. <laughs> so it's obviously the people that's that's pushing for this war. Right. It's obviously they have a safe spot to go to, to run yeah, to. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Bunkers. Hey, like, when you was reading from uh, 38, that's morning. when the Lord said he's going to put hooks in his jaw. Yeah. Turn it back, you know? God to make God. Yep. God to make God represent Russia. That's the reason that's that. Yeah, Northern. This is Isaiah 47 and 7. And thou said, I should be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither did remember the latter end of it. Right, be it. <laughs> and thou said, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to heart, neither did remember the latter end of it. Yeah, so they didn't lay these things to heart. Or they didn't, they, they didn't, they didn't uh, consider. consider or count the cost. Right. right. They didn't, yeah. they didn't count the consequences yeah. of, of, of how they act. Yeah, let me, let me read this in the NLT. Isaiah 47 and 7. You said I will reign forever as queen of the world. You did not reflect on your actions or think about your consequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. said that oh, that let me keep reading it. Verse 8. Listen to this, you pleasure-loving kingdom. Ooh, ooh. Is that not America? You're right. Show me what it's talking yeah. about America. I mean, talking about a kingdom. Right. right. Where on right. earth can you go at any moment of time and you can just party? 
Right, 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 right. All fuck to the to the sun, sun up to sun down. You can party in America. The strip clubs close Miami. Down like five. If you got a jet, you can fly <laughs> in Miami. Yeah. And then the time zone is different, so you can fly to Vegas and party and yeah. do snort. Oh, yeah. you yeah. can do whatever you want here. Yeah. Yeah. You can do whatever, and in some states, you can have sex with an animal. Yeah. Yeah. You can marry a tree. You can turn into yeah. another sex. There's no bounds into what you can do here in America. None. That was that was the that was the business model that America was founded on. Freedom. Freedom. Yeah, yeah. Free freedom. what? Freedom to do what? Anything. Whatever the fuck you you want to do. do. You can do anything here. Skinny, yeah. skinny dipping. Anything. <laughs> they uplift uh, Alistair Crowley when she quoted, "Do what thou wilt." Okay. Do what you want to yep. do. Oh, uh, in Russia, two days ago, Russia went into the LGBT. Uh, oh, yeah. uh one of them clubs, clubs and, and laid yeah. the boys down. Yeah. You can't be a Bati boy in Russia. Yeah, right. And call them boy got served. Yeah, you got to go to court, homeboy. Right. Yes, sir. You can't be a Bati boy in Russia. Right, right, right. <laughs> you, you, you ain't, ain't messing with that. that. You know, that shit destroys families. It, exactly. Right. When you destroy families, you destroy your kingdom. That's right. right. And here in America, they push forth what? Destroying. The family structure. The family structure. The nuclear family. Right. They push. They push that. Yep. They push that on the on the women. You got women taking on that philosophy. Okay. They're being deceived. Yeah. Single mama. Right. Single mothers. They leave the man and they want to do it. They then they go to Esau to get the government benefits. Yeah. Yep. What nation or kingdom from the beginning of creation was birthed or created? out of the alphabet activity or or feminism you know or you know these ideas that they're pushing today you know what i'm saying they want to restructure the world do away with tradition in the old ways and create you can't point to any kingdom in times past that was birthed out of these type of ideas so what what are you what's being what's happening was is, is y'all creating something new or are you just destroying what it what already is. Yeah. Burn it out. Yep. See, like I'd say, like with Greece and Rome, but they they they're coming back in that in that in that that stead. But mm -hmm. they they probably had standards at the beginning. But yeah, right. You know what I'm saying, but eventually it'll just yeah. go back. Right. Yeah. No nation was birthed or created this way. No. They they were create. All nations be, began with with the foundation being family. You know, order. Cause that's the only way a, a kingdom is, is is created. Yeah. Order, structure. You know, the man or the woman. You know, yeah, tradition. Yeah. And then there's been societies over time. Yeah. That fell away from that yep. and was destroyed soon after. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This is Isaiah 47 and verse 8 NLT. Listen to this, you pleasure-loving kingdom, living at ease and feeling secure. You say, I am the only one. And there is no other. I will never be a widow or lose my children. That's the mindset of Esau. Edom. Pride. Pride has taken hold of Esau Edom, the Edomites. They think they're going to rule forever. They think they're going to beat the Lord's army, the chariots. Okay? That's not, that's not going to happen. Yeah, I think we read that already, right? I think that's when we stopped that. Yeah, more than more. No, that was it. I'll, I'll finish on that. Yeah, that's just it. Okay. This is Revelation 18 and verse 7 again. It says, How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So we just brought our precepts to prove that the, that the ancient prophets, they all seen the same thing. They all seen what, what John the Revelator seen. All right. America, a, a kingdom that's dwelling carelessly, man. That's dwelling uh, deliciously. How much she glorify herself and live deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I said a queen in am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Verse 8, it says, Therefore shall her plans come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord's power who judges her. All right, the Lord's going to destroy America. By the way of... Uh, Fire from the chariots, 
There's the beans from the cherries and also the, the nuclear missiles that these different nations do have. So America will be destroyed by nuclear fire according to the Bible. I got, I got some. This is book Isaiah chapter 9 in verse 5 says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Because wars was fought. It was swords. You got the horses. You got the armor. Okay. The shields and whatnot. The bombs. Tanks. But this is what? Going to be fought with uh, what? Burning uh, and fuel of fire. Burning and fuel of fire. Okay? It's all throughout the scriptures. Isaiah seen the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America. Jeremiah, Ezra, Peter, David, all the ancient prophets, Joel, Baruch, Baruch Moses, and so on. Ezra, Nehemiah. Uh, Ezra chapter 16 and verse 13. It says, For strong is his right hand that bended the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bended the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Right. The arrows represents the missiles. The ICBM missiles. The Lord's Spirit will be in those missiles. Okay, that's that's a, what Joel 2. Okay. Talk about the warheads. I in the Revelation chapter 9 it talks about 200 million warheads. It's all throughout the scriptures. Okay, so we deal with prophecy up here because we have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. Keep reading it again, brother. Uh, the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, and verse 13. It says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Yeah, from one continent to the next continent. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. This is Jeremiah 50 and verse, I uh, started verse 13. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. So this place is not going to be inhabited by, by humans. All right, after that, after the fire, after that smoke clears, as we read in Revelation 18, there's going to be desert creatures here. This is a, verse 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord. Man, so the scripture said, "Put yourself in array against Babylon." All right. It says, "All ye that bend the bow." This is, talk, this, this is symbolic of, about that military might, man. Though that when those missiles being shot off, is is uh, the scriptures, the prophets describe them as arrows, man. It says, "Shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord." So the the Lord is going to use these military, these countries that have all the um, armory to shoot over here, man. That's why it's, it's going to, the scriptures call it the second death, man. The scriptures say America is the lake of fire. How much, how much, how much uh, fire are you going to see in this place? The scriptures say, uh, uh, Revelation 15, they look down at a sea of glass mingled with fire, man. And the America is huge. So what's going to destroy this place in an hour? Those missiles. Right. Okay. Revelation 18, go into that one hour. <laughs> you know, just to say that. Well, you got something yeah, Joel chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh. Right. For it is, got it. Got it. For it is nigh at hand. It is a day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. Blow ye the trumpet. In Zion, in the Hebrew, it's a Zion, which means memorial, monument. Who is the Lord's memorial? Israel. These people, not the Israel, not Israel over here, the true Israel. Not the Israelis. 
<laughs> We're talking about the Israelites. There's no Israeli in the scriptures. Okay, we're blowing the trumpet. Spiritually. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Okay? We're a prophet to the nations. So we're blowing that trumpet through the spirit, man. You got it, bro. Joel chapter 2 and verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord coming. Yeah, tremble. Howl. Low. Look, the Lord is he's gonna come. Yahweh shy. It says, for it is nigh at hand. Yeah, it's near. It's, it's nigh at hand. You got it, bro. Okay. It says, verse 2, a day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of confusion. Okay. Confusion. All right. Dark times. Yeah. Right. It need. It needs to happen. All right. The Lord needs needs to destroy this place because these Edomites they're out of control. Jake is out of control. All right. Like Bishop Atazo said, oh, man, these inner cities deceived our people, man. Our people think this is life. Everybody think this is fucking life. This is not life. The Lord's about to destroy this place. Yeah. So it says, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, right. there had not been ever like, neither shall there any more, neither shall there be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Yeah, so those missiles going to happen. And this destruction... This is gonna be the uh trip say after this, nature shall not learn war anymore, man. Read that again, brother Bobby. Uh it says, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. No, so that's talking about the missiles, man. Mm -hmm. the, 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 they're describing the, the, the missiles as, as as an army, like people in an army, because they go they go right. go in a raid, man, like a military. Man. So this is symbolic. Yeah. They, 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 the so-called Christian really, they think it's a it's people. Yeah, they think it's a U.S. military. Right. Read that, there have not been, read that part again. There have not been ever the like. Right. We ain't never seen in this lifetime different countries being hit by nuclear missiles. Right. I never seen a bomb go off. Right. A little bomb. Read that part, <laughs> Ricky, read it. It says, there have never been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. So this is the war that went in all wars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. World War III. Right. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. And after that, no more war. Yeah. He said. You, you call for a precept? Uh, uh, Zephaniah 15. You have more than that? Yeah, one more. Okay, read up. Uh, verse, no, one verse 3, it says, A fire devoureth before them, mm -hmm. and behind them a flame burneth. So, Talking about the missiles. The land is that, the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yay! Nothing shall escape them. Right, it's, 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 it's so called paradise and pleasurable now. Okay. Yep. Yep. So America, you got different nice places in America. It's all so called beautiful. You know? Read that part again. Joel chapter 2 and verse 3 A fire devoureth before them. And behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Desolate again, that word desolate. Yep. Isaiah described this place has been desolate. Jeremiah, yeah. all the prophets seen similar visions of America being destroyed. Right. Yeah, y'all people just riding bikes, drinking smoothies, yeah. walking to Yorkie. Prancing. Mm -hmm. It's all good. This is part of the movie. Yeah. That's the way. Hey, he's gonna come like a thief in the night. Right. Yep. Get, you, get you people caught off guard. They're gonna be scared as hell. You got a good part. This is Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For for I will rise up against them, said the Lord of hosts, 
and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. Going into those missiles. The Lord is going to cut off uh, uh, Babylon. Nephew, everybody, they all getting cut off. Yeah. Those missiles, every nook and cranny, every ain't nobody gonna escape those missiles here in America. Right. And you got something called bunker bombs. Even if you have a, bu a, a bunker here in America, it's still screwed. Uh, busters. Yep. Busters. So, so let me say this. It said, every it cut off the remnant and nephew, right? Mm -hmm. Is God fair though? Yeah. Yeah. God is fair, right? So. Why is he gonna allow all these people to die in this in in, in World War Three? All these people, all these a a average everyday Americans that don't have nothing to do with what's going on over there in the Middle East, nothing to do with what's going on over there in Russia and mm -hmm. Ukraine, but they're gonna be the fuel for the fire. Yeah. And the, and the people pushing the buttons, they gonna run to their bunkers. <laughs> so that's these are questions that if, if if God is fair, why is he gonna allow this? Exactly. Oh, it's, it's, it's not why he's going to allow this. He's bringing this yeah. to destroy you wicked ass people. Right. Yep. <laughs> I got a precept for you. Job 4 and verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Yep. Yeah, so who, nobody perished being innocent, man. All right, you 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 get judged for what you, what you did, man. Rather in this life or your past life, man. So yep. when your little baby that you were in the stroller, are right, getting getting cooked, all right, that's because what they did in their past life, man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It said and prepare a slaughter for his children. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, right. So yeah. I just thought it. you know what I'm saying? I, that's what I just read. But yeah. you know, no matter what, people can follow us around and say we hateful. Yeah. Nobody can say. We're more hateful than God, cause God is gonna burn people alive. Right, what about right, that? Right. We didn't. We didn't drown people alive. Right. Nah. Who did that? Yeah. If, if you call us hateful, you gotta call God hateful then. Right. None of us have have uh, destroyed millions of people like the Lord have done yeah, once. Right. And nobody. Hey. So, hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so when you talk about we hateful, well, we just reading out of the Bible. Right. The terrorists. <laughs> well, the Lord hates. Right. He hates iniquity. He hates evil doers. He hates Esau. Yeah. He hates Esau, Edom. The Lord hates. Hold on. The, who created hatred? Yeah. Where does hatred come, come from? from? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has killed more people than God. Yeah. Ah. So, who the fuck, who, you know? Ah. F you Christians, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what God are y'all talking about? Okay, what God you, what, <laughs> what Bible are you reading, man? The Lord Bro. Yeah. The, the only thing these so-called Christians can't do is come up to harass us. That's it. Yeah. Y'all so-called Christians don't got the answers. Yeah. You can't break down the Bible. You don't know about prophecy. You wicked. They don't know words. They don't know history. No. no. Nothing. They don't know history. They don't no. know anything. Yeah. Also, how do you feel about the Gentiles? So man. Like, get your man. goofy ass up from, from ass around, around us, bro. That's why they're going to be the We're going to call the cops on you, man. I see why Boston Austin <laughs> called the cops. You know what? So, so, you no, no, no. no, I'm with you on that. It's nothing, it's That's nothing for us to talk about. That's an order. There is uh, literally nothing for us to talk about. Yeah. All you going to come up and say, God is love. And what about the Gentiles? Yeah. You know these Christians are bugged out because when they come up to the camp, they spew the same yeah. talking rhetoric. points <laughs> and rhetoric. Like we didn't ever heard that yeah. shit. Like we didn't grow up in church. Yeah. Well, well, God has said to love. He loves everybody. And it, John three six. No, we never heard that shit. They, they really trying to save the so-called white man. Right. They really trying to save the so-called white man. That's how bugged out y'all. Like, like if you had any sense, you would you would come up to us and say, okay. You guys didn't grow up in y'all grew up in Christians, right? Okay, well, y'all already know Christian doctrine, like yeah. yeah. Tell we, us something we don't know. We're telling you something you never you know, heard before. Yeah. Right? You gonna come tell us the same shit yeah, that everybody up. fucking knows. Yeah, everybody knows. <laughs> Everybody's heard. Come on, man. Yeah, that's a great point, though. <laughs> you ask him about oh, what is speaking in tongues? Yeah, that's the, like, and that's not speaking Bro. <laughs> 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 that shit is a joke. 
<laughs> Bugged out, Miss Comedy, man. Right. Uh, Isaiah 9, to back up the point, and verse 19, it says, To the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the, is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. <laughs> no man shall spare his brother. Like the brother Hussein, man, hey, in the daughter of Babylon, the people, all right, in that time of desolation, they're going to be the fuel for the fire. That's you right. See? Yep. And, and the, I want to make a point. The Lord, who, who the world calls Jesus Christ, he didn't have to come in and preach uh, about the nuclear missiles because the prophets already wrote about it. It was already written. Right. He didn't have to go over that again. Right. So you, so for the people that are saying, well, what about the New Testament? The Jesus is not talking about what you guys are talking about. The Old Testament is done away with. He did not. Uh, 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 he did not overrule what the prophets. It was already written, man. Yeah. They were already rightfully divine by the by the Most High Yahweh. It, it's all once he once he said it, it that was it. And to cut them, Apostle Peter said it. And Apostle, Apostle Peter was the head uh, disciple. He, mm. he talked about uh yeah the, the first death and the second yeah, death. Yeah, the elements melt with fervent, fervent heat. heat. Yeah. John, yeah. Where he got that from? Right, he exactly. <laughs> he got from the prophets. Yeah, yeah y'all was trying to yeah. broke it down to him because he didn't know. Even if you read the prophets, they didn't know what they was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had to expound to them, you know, through the spirit what the prophecy was, was going into. Uh, nah. Okay, I'll finish this. All right. Uh, this is Revelation 18 and verse, um, I read verse 8 again. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord power who judges her. Right, so Babylon allies and enemies will come against her. That's what it is, man. Lord going to destroy this. America not going to be great again because America going to be destroyed by fire. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's plain, see? It's in the Bible. Yeah. It's in the Bible. Read, but they don't read. They don't read. And speaking on the Gentiles real quick, what about the Gentiles? Well, the Gentiles that could be saved are Israelite foreigners. They're Israelites. Paul was sent to the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners. Okay? Not the other nations. Just want to say that real quick. This is uh, Revelation 18 and verse 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication. It's like it. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. It's going to be televised, man. They're going to see America get destroyed. They're going to lament. They're still going to push the button, but they're going to lament. Because America made them rich. This Babylon destroyed. Oh my gosh. Yep. Which proves, oh my gosh. Which also proves that some parts of, of Babylon is going to be still up and running and, and, and still trading because the MOTB, people still going to be buying and selling, you know, you're still going to have these 15 minute cities sum up as the days of Noah were. And the scripture said too, shall be grinding out the mill, showing you that, you know, it's going to be activity in certain yep. parts of the land, you know, yep. work. Yep. Yeah. The days of Noah were. This is Revelation 18 and verse 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, At last, at last, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. What? Oh, you got it. What's going to destroy a whole uh, a city? Let's talk, about, uh, let's talk about the whole of America, man. What do you call people, citizens, man? Yep. What's going to destroy this place in one hour? Not, not a candle fire. It's going to have to be nuclear missiles, man. Yeah. And it lays a fire from the chariots. Extreme. Right. God won't do that. That's that's a simple ass Christian would say that. You like the limit, the, the power that the Most I have. Like, what's wrong with y'all so called Christians? We will do that. He he showed he uh had Esau drop them atomic bombs on on him. On, on his on uh Jap so called Japanese man. So imagine what type of wickedness these people commit 
that think that God won't do that. You're right. Like, you think that God won't do something, like, that mean you, you don't have no fear of the Lord. I mean, you you just out there doing whatever the fuck you want to do. They out there, bro. They already out there. You, you can tell by their works they out there. <laughs> you see what I mean? They, they fleshly, carnal, they wicked. They hate God. They hate the Lord. Haters of the most high. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against the ruler. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Ooh, you, the Lord saying in what? In the, I think Ezekiel or Jeremiah, he, he will melt you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he gonna melt you. That's the power of the fear. He's gonna melt you people, man. Okay, your eyes gonna consume, and your eye sockets. Yeah. Just, just looking through, just melted. Yeah. He's gonna take part in that lake of fire and you're gonna burn and burn and burn. Yeah. That's the second death. That's the so-called Christian. Well, what's the second death? Yeah. Well, it, yeah. it tells you in Peter, second Peter tells you what the second death is. It tells you in Revelation what the second death is. They're gonna be fearful for the fire. Right. That that's that's gonna keep that fire going. I mean, these buildings and everything, but these people, they there's millions of people here in this place, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said you're gonna sweep it with the beast of destruction. Mm -hmm. So from one end to the opposite. See the see the sign and see. The precept of God is brother just now. It says, here's the plague wherewith the Lord shall smite all those that fight against Jerusalem. Right? So it's the plague. Right? Uh, uh, second as of the 16th chapter tells you about the plagues that are sent. These plagues are already sent, man. So the Lord yep. already ordained these things to happen. Yeah. So what if what if some don't believe? The scripture says, shall your unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? Right, right, right. You people don't believe, that's part of the movie. You're gonna <laughs> right. have you gonna have believers. All the unfaithful shall and, die in their unfaithfulness. And, yeah, right. You're gonna have unbelievers. Because the Lord is balanced. Right. This truth is only for the elect. Mm -hmm. That's it. Not everybody gonna believe. There's a crazy doctrine out there that uh, nuclear missiles are fake. Yeah. <laughs> and I see a couple bug out there. I see it every, pop up every once in a while. They say that they, they're just a shell. We'll go ask those Ukrainians. Right? <laughs> Press that button. And he uh, launched an ICBM missile, but it, it wasn't a nuclear warhead attached to him. Right? But, a nuclear warhead can be attached. Yeah. On them. Like, Iran shot a missile over in uh, Israel. Like these niggas, they just they don't want it to be true. <laughs> right. You just yeah. see your own. You just have to believe it. Yeah. Right. Well, okay. Because they're here in America, but I, I bet if these people go to a third world country, <laughs> country oh, it's yeah. real. They're gonna be like, oh. <laughs> pray for me. <laughs> That's why weirdos and, 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 and wicked sinners, you're gonna be put down man yeah. mm -hmm. real talk the lord gonna melt you right you have some yeah this is isaiah 34 verse 8 and it says for it is the days of for it is the day of the lord your house vengeance yeah. and the year of recompense for the controversy of zion what, what, what's, what, what's that isaiah what isaiah 34 and 8 read again it says for it is the day of the lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of zion right we brought that out earlier yeah okay. what they did to the lord's people yeah. Slavery and some. Yeah. They still doing and some to our people, to the Lord's people, man. And more. And more. Perpetual hatred, man. Yep. We bring out the gospel. Y'all don't like it. It is what it is, man. Right. This gospel won't offend y'all people. We understand. We're gonna be hated. Oh, bless our day that, that that bless our us. Bless our when men value, bless mm -hmm. our you. Yeah. Paraphrasing, man. Right. This 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 truth strikes people nerves, man. Yep. It hurts. Verse 9 it says, And the stream thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the death thereof into brims in the brimstone, and the land thereof shall become a burning pitch. It shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. Meaning a very long time. Read. From generation to generation, it shall lie waste, none shall pass through it forever and ever. But the commemorant and the bitter and the bitterin shall possess it. The commemorant, the bitter, bitter, birds. You know, we brought this out earlier. Keep reading. 
The owl also and the raven shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch up, stretch out upon it the line of confusion and, and the stones of emptiness. Oh, that was New York. You're not going to tell that was New York. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was Georgia. Oh, that, oh, you can't tell that was Georgia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. Got it, bro. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 12. You got some more? No, it. Wisdom of Solomon 12 is 16 and 17. It says, For when men will not believe that thou art a full power, thou showest thy strength, and among them that knoweth maketh their boldness manifest. So you, you got people that don't, they don't, you know, they don't really believe what we're saying, but they, they might believe that, you know, I believe, you know, I'm with y'all, brother, you know what I'm saying? Or you got people that just don't flat out believe. Well, guess what? There are going to be things that you're not going to be able, be able to explain in the near future. Well, even now, the so-called uh, UAPs, yeah. uh, unidentified aerial phenomena, you can't, you can't grasp that. That's nothing logical. Uh, if a logical man try to look at that, he doesn't know what that is. He's gonna say it's an alien. Got something back there. Uh, Isaiah 28 and verse 21. It says, For the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perizamon. He shall be wroth as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. So we live in a time like right now where the Lord is, 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 is visiting the earth in all type of ways, man. You know, storm, tempest, yeah. okay, working on the minds of kings, all right, sending the angels, <laughs> the chariots, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is working in all type of ways, man. He, at the end of the day, he mustered the host of the battle, okay? The Lord is in control of all things. He's making everything happen at, at, at to his intents and thoughts and purposes, man. And remember, all right, he ordained what's written in the scriptures, man. The plagues are sent. Who is he that can turn them away? There is none can deliver out of the hand of the Lord, man. You see? You got it. This is the book of I, uh, Sirach, it's Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 36 in verse, I'll start at verse 1, the, the point in the 6. It says, Have mercy upon us, O Lord, power of all, and behold us, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. So the Lord is going to have mercy on He has to have mercy on us. Lord, when he have mercy and send his fear upon all these nations, man. So that's showing you everybody not seeking the Lord. Right. Right, right there. That's showing you right there. Yeah. Seek not after thee. Right. Yeah, yeah. They got their gods. They got their rituals, their priests and shit like that. They, hold on, they said the nations yeah. don't seek, but, but all nations have Christians. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All nations have Christians among them. Right. You know? It's a world wide religion. Yeah. You said that's the biggest religion. Yeah, right. Two billion followers. But right, so but according to the Bible, there's there's nations out there that don't follow the Lord. Right. So Rock 36 and verse 3. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. Right. Lift up thy hand. The Lord gonna show his hand, man. You got it? He said, like the, the priest of the bar brought out, and then they gonna when they don't no, think the Lord is a full power, then he gonna show them. All right, so they gonna see that they gonna see the power of the Lord, man. Hey, you, you heard that expression going on? What show the, you better right. not tell yeah. 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 You gotta show Jake, man. You yeah. gotta show yeah, Jake. Gotta Jake, Jake wicked. Yeah, we see that. Yep. Jake, Jake ain't gonna stop doing wickedness until they on their deathbed oh, saying, "Oh God, have yeah. mercy on me." Give me another chance. Yeah, uh, then my last time. Yeah. Two days later. <laughs> Jake, good back, boy. An hour later. One hour later. <laughs> like, that, like that nigga Kodak, man. He's like, he get fucked up, jacked up, and he come out clean, and he be worse off than yeah. what he is, yeah. man. Yeah, Bishop Day even did that. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. called yeah. him yeah. yeah. your better, house. That's a better example. He was sick. Yeah. But that's okay. Jake, boy. Jake is an asshole. That's yeah. a better example. Jacob's an asshole. Jacob's an asshole, boy. Sirach 36 and verse 4. As thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us, and let them know thee as we have known thee, that there is no God but only thou, O Yahweh. So the Lord, he's going to be magnified. He's going to stand alone. Mm -hmm. Just how when the Lord destroyed ancient Egypt 
and all the nations. It's raining. Yeah, you feel yeah, it. Right? Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. We get a couple more pieces. It's about to rain. It's raining. It's cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can calm down. It's coming down. No. Versus, I'll read this to it. Cold. How, how long we wait? Like uh, an hour and 19, or an hour and 20. So Rock 30, 60, verse 6, show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand in thy right arm that, that that they may set forth thy wonderful works. One of my favorite precepts is that. Uh, show that what's uh, show new signs. Yeah. Make other Ooh. strange wonders. I got you. There's gonna be more signs being shown. Not just volcanoes and no, we're gonna we hey, hey, behemoth. Yep. Leviathan. Right. Right. Y'all so called Christians break down that? No. Dinosaur. <laughs> okay. Dinosaur. Newly, new, newly created creatures. A, imagine a, a, a big ass roach with antennas, bro, chasing you. With one eye. A roach like big, like from this to, to there, bro. Like that type of thing, bro. It's gonna be scary. We go, the, the, if we are being let, we're gonna be scared, but we're gonna trust in the Lord. Yeah. What the Lord did to uh, Corey Dave Namoran. Uh, Nerf ne followers. The Lord opened up and swallowed their ass. Yep. They swallowed and, and, and then closed the ground back. <laughs> like, what? Right. <laughs> Just to let you know. Yeah. Right. This wasn't a, it wasn't a natural <laughs> That's what disaster. disaster. Oh, snap. An uh, earthquake. No. No. It wasn't a coincidence. back to where it was. It's like, a sinkhole. Yeah. A sinkhole. Sink <laughs> like sink no. That's, no. That's what Moses told him. If he, yeah. if he died, a man of a dog of death. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. <laughs> they came against, right. 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 They came up against right. uh, Moses, mm -hmm. who the Lord set up, set him up as a leader. Yep. You just can't talk bullshit to the Lord's leaders, man. To the Lord's uh, servants, the Lord will require of that. This is Isaiah 55 and verse 9. And it says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher, was like in my thoughts than your thoughts. Yep. And that's right, man. You know, you know, you know, and, and Lord's gonna really you know, show you these people something new, man. You know, just have the brother saying, like, 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 like your biggest fear, man, like a big roach, you know, apparitions, <laughs> right. you know. <laughs> Shit, shit you never seen before, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because people are scared of roaches. Yeah. Lizards. Right. Yeah. People got a phobia for everything. Yeah. Frogs, spiders. You know? The scripture even tell you that that day, the wild beast shall change their place. So even the beasts, the wild beasts that you'll see right now, you don't, you don't really in the same vicinity as them. Like, so most of the time when you see them, they locked up in a cage. Yeah. So imagine when they free. By the way, when you go to Miami Zoo, right? But you ain't never really, I see one right to the glass, right? But you never see one running loose. Right. Coming at you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nope. Nobody can stop it. They'll rip you apart, man. A lion. A lion. Oh, I got some. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, and verse 17. Oh, no, that's pretty accurate. For, you got it? Yeah, I did. You read it? You read it. Okay. This is Wisdom of Solomon, 11, and verse 17. It says, for thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, want it not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions. Right, want it not means to send upon them, you know, bears or fierce lions. I mean, he, he could have did that if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. He could have easily did that. You know. Or, verse 18, or unknown wild beast full of rage, newly created, breathing out either fiery vapor or filthy scent of scattered smoke, or shooting horrible sparks out their eyes. Damn. No. Hmm. Or far out. <laughs> I ain't playing with y'all boys, man. Shit like a like a oh, cyclops. That? Yeah. <laughs> that's where they animal. get that from. Yeah, that's right. what they get. It's an animal cyclops. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right, man. They had, they had that they had that movie Project Power. Jamie yeah, Fox. Jamie Fox yeah. and then they had like they was taking different powers from the animals and shit. Yeah. So the Lord could, the Lord said he could have did that. Creature newly created. He could have just rose up, you know, to get rid of those wicked inhabitants of the ancient land or different, you know, different wicked people. So he could do that. If he could have did that back, he could do that today. The Lord don't change. He's, a, he's the same power that the Lord, he is, he is, he exists. He never changed. He can do his, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Niggas oh, like thinking the Lord don't got the same power. Right. Like, power like fire, he don't got no more power. Yeah. Like, see, he used it all. He ran out of power. Dragon Ball Z or some shit. He got to power up. 
Right. Right. You know, uh -huh. And all you only get for every every twelve thousand yeah. five hundred years. Come on. Super said the Lord always on a ten. Yeah. <laughs> God knows. What y'all anti messiah people like to do? You like to limit the Messiah. You like to put them in the box. Yeah. By saying, oh, he won't do that. How do you know? How do you know? Because my pastor told. Yeah. My pastor told. God is love. This is uh, Hebrews 10 of verse 31, and it says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. <clears throat> it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's therefore we fear the Lord. We're trying to walk contract before him, because we know what he can do. Oh, yeah. That's right. No, nope, should say knowing the terror of the Lord. Straight man, right. Man. right. Lord, man, you driving down 95, you see cars flipped over, burning, burning. Yeah, burning. Yeah, this is uh, Sirach 43 and 29. The Lord is terrible Ooh. and very great and marvelous in his power. Verse 32. There are yet hid greater things than these be. For we have seen but a few of his works. See? Wow. <laughs> we don't even know. We don't even know the Lord. We don't know. We know him, yeah, but we don't know. really know him. Right, 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 right. It's like you had, you had like a father, man. Yeah, like yeah. he had you when he was real old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Really we really grow. We know that's your dad. We know his name. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we don't really know. You already know. Like we don't really you know him like that. Maybe your older brother exactly. know him. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know him. Yeah. How is y'all really dealing with us? Right, right, right. The mediator. Hey, that's that's beautiful. That's good. He he's something else, man. Yeah. Right. Hey, the most I mad at us. Right. Mm -hmm. You got your house, our mediator, yeah, yeah. being our advocate, being our intercessor. He's praying for us. Without that, we read through. Yeah. So the most I, we, we pray to y'all about you, my yeah, shot. The most I mad at us. Right, yeah. Lord, y'all will tell y'all, shot, you, you go deal, because if I yeah. deal with him, go deal with I'm, him. I'm gonna kill him. That's yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> you better kill him. But, but they get him, right? Like you tell your little brother, but they right. even you know, don't get your little brother. But they even before he could even deal with us, he told Big Bro, "You got this. Is what you got to do." Well, he had to deal with him, and it said, "Please, yeah. Lord, to bruise him." Right, Lord, he, we don't know him. Bro. Nah, nah. We don't know him. We know him, but we don't. No, no, no. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now that was the like it's good to say the Lord is known. Yeah. For the judgment which right. he executed. Yeah. So we 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 we're, we're learning about him because we're we're opening the book and we're learning of the different judgments, judgments right. that he yeah. he put on us, yeah. on our people, yeah. on, on the other nations. Yeah. So like that is how the Lord get down. Ah. Yeah. Damn. He really liked that. You know. Yeah. But we still. Uh, you know what? When Jacob's trouble come, we start seeing the. Crazy yeah. guts and shit. Blood. And it hit home and hit cut. There you go. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. That's y'all. That's oh. yeah. This is Live. This is Habakkuk. For the brother. Habakkuk 1, verse 13. Thou art of purer eyes than to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. Yeah, so the Lord is of purer eyes than to look upon evil, man. He, so the Lord hates wicked. That's why the Lord dealing with us through our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Oh. Read that again. The Lord dealing with us through Yahusha. Yahusha is a mediator. Because the Lord see the, the things that we do, He'll put us as a death. Right. So what separates us from God? Sin. Habakkuk 1 verse 13. Thou art of pure eyes than to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. Wherefore lookest thou upon them that deal treacherously, and holdest thy tongue when the wicked devoureth the man that is more righteous than he yeah, so the lord he's he look at us through the lens of yahweh man you know what i'm saying like yahweh shine there then he then he can deal with us through that you know what i'm saying that was that was it over there this is our call with Elisha with the she bears uh second kings chapter 2 i saw in verse 22 it says so the waters were healed unto this day according to the saying of Elisha, which he spake it says that he went up from thence unto Bethel, and as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city, and mocked him, and said unto him, Go up, go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. 
It says, and he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she bears out of the wood and tore forty and two children of them. See? Because Elisha was in a state of lamenting because Elijah was taken up by a chariot. Okay? And Elisha, that was his uh, teacher, Elijah. Okay? He had children roasting, if you will, or cracking on uh, Elisha. Talking about his bald head. Yo, bald headed ass. Yo, bald, yo, bald head. Ain't nothing but Jake. Yo, bald headed ass. And Alyssa cursed him in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. And we coming in that time, man. We, we, that's why we put curses on the murder. Right. Hey, Apostle Paul uh, blinded a, a scoffer. I didn't even look at that. That, that, um, yeah. that Elimus, wizard. Yeah, the wizard, yeah. Damn. Il Elimus, the sorcerer. You say he blinded him for a season. Fucking tired of his ass. <laughs> Through the spirit of looking, yes. Yeah. Satan, we call him. Yeah, son of son of the son devil. Son of the devil. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> hey, Paul could have put that nigga to death yeah, if he yeah. wanted to. Hey, but um, he just blinded him. Yeah. So uh, uh Apostle Peter with uh huh? with uh, uh they did they, with the with the money. Alright, I forgot what we call it. I forgot the name of it. Right. Ananiah. Yeah. And Sapphira. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Yeah, we coming into that time. They dropped dead. Yeah, at 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 his feet. The Lord destroyed him. God, you live with the sorcerer. Acts 13, verse 6. And when they had gone through the isle of Tepaphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew. His name was Bar Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But El Elamus, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Yeah. And that's the spirit that these people are in. They're trying to, they're yeah, trying to turn yeah. away the, the sheep from the faith, man. Right. Okay? That's, that's the same spirit that these false prophets are in. Yeah. They're, they're sorcerers. Yeah. So, so, these, so I'm going to say, they, these people better watch out how they talk to the to the men of the Lord. They started out Apostle Elder Great Mills. The Lord probably give, probably give, give the elders, the, the brothers that power, man. Right. Make your ass blind. You know? Put up them prayers and curses on your ass. Right. But I say this too, that also proves that there's there's people in this world that practice sorcery, that practice witchcraft, mm -hmm. that know and, and understand that what we have is the truth. And they are actively engaged in trying to deter, uh, you know, the sheep from the faith. So we, this this is the type of things we have to you know be aware of. Right, right. This shit real out here. Yeah. That's why you think uh Vocab Malone going so hard. Right. Cause they, and why you think these uh, anti-Messiah people going so hard to uh, mess with us? Cause they know this is the truth. So the only thing is to start uh, ruckus and mayhem and, and be, be a menace. They say they believe in God. Right. Hypocrite. They believe in God. They don't even know you how to die. We love so much. Yeah. Oh, they think they're, they're, the same, they think they're the same person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to finish this a little bit more. It's Acts 13, verse 9. And Saul, also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, set his eyes on him. He looked at him. Right? And said, Oh, full of subtlety and all mischief. Thou child of the devil, mm. thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist of a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Oh, now you're humble now. <laughs> like this now. Help me, please. Help me, Ray Charles. Help me, please. 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 Help me, please
Yeah. That boy Stevie Wonder now. <laughs> that boy Ray Charles now. Now you wondering. Yeah, you wondering now. And I wonder. <laughs> if wonder. you know. <laughs> yeah, you wondering now. <laughs> you humble. You blind. You humble. Bro. Humble. humble. Yeah. Instant. Was not Paul. <laughs> was not Saul, right? Was, the, was not the, the Lord blinded yeah. Saul. Yeah. 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 And the Lord sent Ananias the prophet to lay hands on Saul. Because Paul was persecuting the church. He did right. it ignorantly, but he's still going off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's doing the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is Luke 9 and 53. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would not go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, without that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? But he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. For the Son of Man came not to destroy man's life, but to save him. But the point is, those men have power. Yeah. Knew it. Men, you know men it. that he was they walking with, he, he gave them power. Yeah. He, Lord, you want us to send fire down from heaven and burn them up? <laughs> yeah, that's dope, man. man. That's dope. The Lord said, no, 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 no. That's not what we're doing right now. <laughs> Hey, man. Because <laughs> the Lord said, if in my kingdom, I'm going to fight. Right. Look, he, they had all the power to do that. He didn't mm -hmm. say, he didn't say, I can't do that. He said, no. He told them, no, don't do it. Right. <laughs> but they was ready, though. Right. All of them was ready. They was body, body. Right. Peter was ready. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when the Lord finally unleashes his men and give them power, oh, it's all shit now. After after 2,000 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, and we, we, we never time. seen before, bro. <laughs> we in that time of what? Oh, power. Yeah. Greater work. Signs and, 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 and uh, miracles and, yeah. and, and, you know, spiritual power, man. Yeah, that's right. Nobody turned yeah. up. You speaking know? it, speaking it, and, and shit happened. Yeah. Yeah. You said, oh, shit. You're gonna have to be careful with your words soon. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. 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 That nigga really good now. Yeah. It's happening already. Yeah. It's happening already, you know, on a on a lower level. On a lower yeah. level. But if you really sit back and look and think, it's been happening a lot. You yeah. just you know, it, it's just our faith is growing. You know, yeah. once it hit once our faith reaches a certain point, things like that was gonna is gonna be happening consistently. Right. That's what the Lord was telling the disciples. They had, he had to get them up on the level to, for their faith to them to believe. To the point that Apostle Peter, he started walking on water. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that, he, that he, truly, he truly, like, believed like that, man. But I had to, yes, I Okay, you got it. All right. This is the book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses both unto me both in jerusalem and in all judea and in samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth the lord gave us that power we got power you know with the, with the holy spirit to understand the scriptures man but then the, the lord going to give us that 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 spiritual power man that, that physical power man all right and what the lord the lord he's gonna fight our battles for us man uh, to back that up, it's uh, St. John chapter 14 and verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Yeah. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Mm -hmm. So the apostles, you know, Paul, Peter, they were laying hands on the people, man. Well, also, it was, more than, it was 70. The they were, they were 70 hands. had power too. So, there was, a, there was a lot of disciples that had power. Right. Yeah. Because when he, when he sent them out and when they came back, they said, Lord, they said, Lord, even even the devils are subject to work. Right. You see? So it, said, uh, it says, uh, verse 13, uh, Whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that, that, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. This is why we call him the, uh, the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know? The, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run through our sight. You know? In our trials and troubles, tribulations, we're going we to call on the Lord. Right. You know? Because that's, that's what the, the, the disciples the, the disciples that came apostles, they was 
doing those miracles in the name of the Lord. That's why they was being persecuted, man. Yeah. That was the whole point, the name. You got it, Ash. And just go show you that when, you know, as these things take place, what we're talking about, the spiritual power, the miracles, it's going to come with persecution. Yeah. You watch any movie, like Chronicle or any spiritual power movie, get us a spiritual power movie. Yep. Yeah. Whenever somebody gets spiritual power, he starts coming after them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody just start flying? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just yeah. start flying. Yeah. I don't know. A fucking jet start coming. A helicopter just. Right. He start just come for your ass. Right. <laughs> I think Elder, Elder Gad, Elder Gad from uh, know, New York, he said that. He said when the power thing goes starts with a fire jet. Come on, guys, get it yeah. going. What, what, what's happening? What's, what's happening, happening here? The World War Three is gonna happen. No, that ain't what we're going for. <laughs> that's what, that's what I thought you were gonna dance. Uh, nah, no, we ain't, we ain't into no, that. It's not black culture. We're not into that. We just tell you what the what's about to happen to America. All right, go ahead. Oh yes. yeah. Yeah, that's a scary thought. Yeah. Enjoy your day. This is book of um. Spirit change. Yeah. <laughs> sing a sing a dance. That's what they think of. Sing, just, sing a song. Sing boy. a song. Dance for Think of one, one of those songs of Zion. Yeah. Yep. You sing the right one. Yeah, yeah. I thought why? Why you thought we were gonna sing it live? Hard color. Sing, sing or dance. <laughs> they judge by appearance. <laughs> this is um. Yeah. This is until they ask World War Three. Like yo, exactly. yo, fucking see nobody. Be yeah. 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 Fucking smile. Now, now, now quick. take your ass over the road. She sobered up quick, boy. <laughs> he, he did too. Yeah. He, he wanted. He wanted to say that that's not gonna happen. Yeah. He couldn't. He couldn't. And he had to say, that's not what <laughs> we're looking at. Because he know if he was to say, that's not going right. to happen. Right. One, one, three, you man. just was watching Fox News this morning. Right. So don't play stupid. That's why your ass out here. Bro. Right. Is that drunk as a skunk. Probably ruined his whole fucking buzz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they look at us like we're Little Wayne or something. Yeah. Right. Like We're not Little Wayne, bro. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. What that you had? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll read this. Team on the spirit, man. This is John. Yeah, get that. Yeah, read that, and I got a piece up there. Uh, the book of says, John chapter 14 and verse 12. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Yeah, so the Lord, you know, the Lord, when we part left, we're going to do greater works than the Lord. Greater works than the, uh, the, the, eight, the, the apostles, man. All right, the, the, the apostles, the disciples that came apostles during, during the, the ancient times, which the, 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 the apostles, they're back today. Yep. Say the, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, man. Hey, when you, you say things like that, people look at you like, hmm? you don't do the greater words of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> he's the one who said it. <laughs> Christians will look at you like, blasphemy. me. <laughs> but it's, it's in the Bible, though. <laughs> it's written. He said it. Lord he said, said it. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's real, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> They gonna try to twist the scripture. No, he didn't really mean it like that. Right. <laughs> uh, because your faith is not at that level. Right, right. We ever hear a Christian bring that up. Yeah, that, 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 you, them doing that gonna put themselves in trouble because now they'll be taking away an eye to the work. Right, yeah. You right. see? <laughs> we're never guilty of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They say you're gonna burn forever in this place called hell. Yeah. Come on. Oh, they say speaking in tongues is blah, 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 uh, St. John chapter 21 St. John chapter 21 in verse 24 it says this is the disciple which testified of these things and wrote these things and we know that his testimony is true verse 25 and there are also many other things which Yahweh did the which if they should be written every one I suppose that even the world itself cannot contain the books that should be written. The Dang. Lord did so many works, man. Dang. We just know a, a few of his works. He turned the water, water, the water into wine. You know, he fed thousands. But he, he did even more than that. You know? That, that's, that's the power of who we serve, man. So we go when we part of life. The Lord going to bestow those things upon us, man. Chapter 14, verse 5. Then was Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnath and came to the vineyards of Timnath. And 
behold, a young lion roared against them, and the spirit of the Lord Yahweh came mightily upon him. He writ him as he would have written a kid, and he had nothing in his hand. But he told not his father or his mother what he had done. All right, so the spirit of the Lord has to be upon you to do these different things. That's the point. All right, it's to give him the Lord glory. That's right. Okay, it's not a bus. It's up. Yeah, I will buy some y'all shot. But he, 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 he destroyed a lion. Okay, a young lion at that. A healthy lion. So, he knew the Lord was dealing with him. He knew this. He ain't tell nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he knew he had power. Yeah. He ain't tell nobody. That made me think of uh, Brightburn. Yeah, about when, uh, when, he, when he first found he had the power, he stuck his hand in the lawnmower and that yeah. shit broke. When he first mm -hmm. threw that shit, and, and he walked up to it, that shit was still spinning, and he hit that shit broke. Yeah. He didn't tell nobody, he didn't tell his parents, they just, he just kept it to himself. Showing that he served a good power, man, uh, <laughs> amazing power. Man, David wrestled, uh, no, Jacob, Jacob wrestled an angel, bro. And then, then uh, David killed the lion and the bear, man. You, Gary, Gary. 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 And we, we come from those men. They come from those mighty men. Like, that's our, that's our forefathers, man. Wow. Right. Samson, Samson was taking up the Philistines. Right. right. Uh, Moses, Abraham. We, yeah, our, our forefathers was mighty, man. Our mighty. forefathers wasn't all these niggas out here walking in these no, streets no, no, like right. that, man. Right. Yeah, they, they, yeah. go ahead, I'll tell you. No, I'm about to say the, Mac the Maccabees. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, what's his name? Judas Maccabees. Yep. He had his brothers. <laughs> okay. Hey, his dad, what's his father's name? Uh, Matthias. Yeah, Matthias. Yeah, Matthias. Oh, well, he was valiant, man. We come from we come from them, not no... We ain't talking about MLK, Martin Luther King. Yeah. Or, uh, <laughs> Kevin Gates, them niggas. Yeah. You got these young niggas putting tattoos on their throat. Yeah. Wearing purses. Right. This, this, this gold street. <laughs> right. They're putting, they're gold, right putting gold right here. And right. Different weird uh, tattoos on their throat, bro. Yeah. That we came from val uh, valiant men, okay, royal, uh, 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 class people, like the true opulent people. Right. They, they try to tell us that uh, 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 we we uh, we coming from slavery. Like our history starts from slavery, according to them. Yeah. That's what they want of us believe. Right. <laughs> sixteen nineteen. Yeah, sixteen nineteen. Somewhere it starts. Sixteen nineteen. Somewhere in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas no, swinging man. on trees yeah. until the white man came and said, "Man, I got civilized." <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you saw, I gotta pay for that, man. Mm -hmm. that niggas believe that, yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. Northern, Northern Kingdom was just, uh, uh, just here, you know. They, 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 didn't know how to, they didn't know how to cultivate the land. Yeah, so the white Even white told me that. Even white told me that, man. Before, before we came over here, it was all grass and everything, all wild. Nah, man. They, uh, Northern Kingdom had a whole fucking empire over here. It is coming out now that the 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 the, the Amazon rainforest is a, a a planted garden. That's not even that's not a natural thing. The, the Northern Kingdom they actually made the Amazon rainforest. They wow. planted that. Wow. <laughs> the, the the dirt. Yeah. They got it's something called terraforma. Something like they actually the dirt they actually made it with a with a like a, a multi level process. Of creating the fucking soil, it was the soil because they say right outside of it, the soil was totally depleted of nutrients. Right. But right in it, it got all type of nutrients. They go inside it, and they they prove that that was made. Yeah. But but they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Yeah. If savages come on, man. Right. Yeah, they put that movie the, the apocalypse. The po yeah, apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. That's how they look at Northern Kingdom. Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. It says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people above Slakia, unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yeah, so we above all the, these, these nations, man. And we supposed to come back to our heritage and walk that way and look at ourselves as kings, as kings and priests, not as niggas, man. Not as fucking American Babylonian niggas. Trying to go after the way, trying to be like these niggas in society. Nah, man, we got we come back to our hair so we can be delivered, so we can be protected in these times. Yeah, but 
Esau, Esau would have you believe that all man, all man was created equal. Right. That, that's what he yeah. uh, relegated in, in, in his, in his uh, uh, his writings that all man are created equal. Except for the so-called black man. Well, the scripture says Native American. The scripture says that the elder shall serve the young. The young. <laughs> right. So you know what I'm saying? We are above all people. All of you that are upon the face of the earth. Right, so this is why the Lord says he's, he's, uh, 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 he's going to unveil the covering cast. And who, so look, who take place in the Olympics? Right. And, and, and uh, doing mighty things in the Olympics, man. Jake Harvey. There you go, right. salt of the earth. And even if they look like, some of them they may look like the other nations, they still try to call you the man. And the scriptures call our people the salt of the earth. How you gonna get around that? Could you imagine the NBA without Jake? They will be like that. Have you have you seen like clips of the NBA before they started letting Judah in there? Boring. Niggas throwing the ball at right there. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Free throw like what the fuck? Right right right. Right there. 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 You can't sing, you can't dance. Weaker than a bitch. Yep. We just gonna be beating the shit out of you. So right. yep. Hey, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again, man. The only sport JK is dominating in is the sport that he's not interested in. Yeah. He must not be like, interested you know. in. Like getting into a, 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 a right. pool of water like Mike Phelps. JK is interested in that yeah. shit. Hey, if Jake was interested in that, yeah. he would take it out with Tiger Woods. Tiger, Tiger, right. Tiger Woods, yeah. And if even even if Jake ain't get into it, right, Jake, just one Jake will go over there, Jake, yeah, yeah. Tiger Woods, yeah, yeah. go over there, take over the whole There's shit. That fucking Serena sisters. I mean, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tennis. Baseball. Yeah. Nordic yeah. Kingdom taking over that shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. Alexander Hamilton took oh, over racing. Formula One. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who are the best cooks, man? Yeah. Jake. Yeah. Who's right. cooking at the restaurants in the back? Yeah. In the back of Flanagan's. Yeah. In the back of Bar Louie. Yeah. Different restaurants, man. He's five, he's, uh, Benny Hunters and shit. All that, man. Jake, American man. food, yeah. like American Jake. cooking. Jake created all that shit. Everything, man. man. Fried chicken, fucking cornbread. All, oh, come on, man. <laughs> hey, also, this tour with the Amazon, with the rainforest, right? They call the Amazon rainforest the lungs of the earth. Wow. And that was created. That's not even natural. Right. And they call that, because it, 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 it produces, generates so much oxygen, you know, right. through the, the vegetation. Right. And it, you know, uh, sucks in all the carbon dioxide and, and shoot out oxygen. So that show you right there that our people are necessary to the earth. Right, right. Meaning if you took away the Israelites from the earth, it would cease to exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Showing yeah. you those people that, 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 they would have to be the Israelites. Right, right. If Jake, if Jake, let's say Jake, all Jake, let's say all of Jake went to Jupiter, right? <laughs> right, right, right. Esau is going to follow, <laughs> follow you. Yeah. us Jake. to Jupiter. Yeah. Like, the spaceship. Yeah. And say, no, where you going? We and need you. Put you in chains and bring you back. Go back. Right. Right. I got a... No, uh, former all things. We the former all things. So like, they made movies like Avatar. Right? In different movies. They show you Esau just after they destroy Earth, they're gonna go to uh, the next uh planet and, and start over. Yeah. Couldn't be good enough stewards of the planet the Lord gave you, but you're gonna go and conquer another one. We got this devil uh Elon Musk talking about Occupy Mars. It's the same dude with his, his Tesla company is creating all type of pollution in the earth. You know, mining up all those lit, all lithium and cobalt to create those batteries. And those batteries, they, they push like it's better for the earth. That shit is way worse for the earth than uh, petroleum, uh, you know, right. engines. Right. He created, he created all these robots, right? And these people, you know, everything they do right now is, is for convenience. Yeah. People, are, people buying those Tesla robots and shit. And they're having them to walk the dog and do different things, wash the dishes. I seen some videos of the robots yeah. doing type of shit. Yeah, right. One I'm claim to get out like this. <laughs> he ought to get out like with a damn scarf minutes. around his neck. Yeah. <laughs> and he's planning to get out. And I'm like, bro, them, them, them robots, man, they think, people, they, they think that's a good thing, but it's not. No. Yeah? Trying to be stupid.
<laughs> Jeremiah 10 verse 16. The portion of Jacob is not like you, for he is the former of all things. Yeah, so we not like these other nations, man. The Lord said he, when he uh, made the bounds, uh, he separated the bounds according to the children of Israel, man. He gave, he separated the nations, but he gave us the best part because we, we the Lord's chosen people. Mm -hmm. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Yeah, we're not like them. We're not like the Elamite men. All right, we're not, the, our women are not like the Elamite women or Ishmael. <laughs> we're, not, we're not like them niggas. The scripture said that when, when, uh, when Pharaoh was trying to get the, the Israelite woman to turn against the children. And the scripture said uh, uh, the, the, Israelite, the Hebrew woman are not like the other, the Hebrew woman. That's right. That's right. You know? That's right. That's right. Right. It's, it's a uh, example. You talk about our women versus the other nation's women, right? Perfect example. Our woman, Keisha. Take any Keisha, dirty, nasty black woman from the project, right? Big Shirley is not gonna walk down the street with no shoes on. Take any ratchet black woman. You know, unless she's cracked out of her mind, yeah, yeah, right, right. you're not gonna see a. A black woman walking down the street barefoot. Hell You're not no, gonna see that. No, no. She could be the, a dirty shit eater. Yeah. She ain't gonna do that. <laughs> now take a princess, pretty little petite white thing, white princess. She'll walk. What she'll walk down yeah, with, yeah. with no, no shoes on feet, yeah. comfortable all day long. I seen videos. Eat my like women eating from a toilet bowl. Yeah. yeah. Get yeah. their dog in the mouth, and Ooh. she's a, a petite, yeah. dainty. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Case in point. They beast. <laughs> I got that pop on. I'm gonna finish this up real quick. Jeremiah 10 verse 16. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Yeah, so we the lot of the Lord inheritance, man. So we yeah. We not like them. That's why the Lord waking us up so we can tap back into our heritage, man. You know? That was not like them, and they not like us. They not like us. <laughs> uh, that shit go right over niggas' heads. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, Exodus chapter one and verse fifteen. It says, "And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, of which the name of the one was Shephra, and the name of the other Pua. And he said, When ye do the office of the midwife to the Hebrew woman, and see them upon the stool." If it be a son, then ye shall kill him. See, they, they, they trouble us in buildings from ancient times. Always. They've been coming up against our people. Every nation. Every nation. So it says, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. But the, but the midwives feared the most high and did not, as the king of Egypt commanded them, but save the men children alive. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have ye done this thing? And why have so I can't say, and I and I've saved the men children alive? And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively, and I and I deliver ere the midwives came in unto them. So the point is, they not like these heathens, man. You know? So imagine in the kingdom when, when our women are in their, their right mind. Right. That, when, first off, when the man is in their right mind, the yeah. Israelite man is in their right mind. Right, so they, they're the way they are right now because we've fallen. Yeah, you know, right. Scripture speaks about the falling away, you know, but they coming back into their right mindset, even though some of them will lose it on this side because they ain't going to repent, all right, and the Lord only dealing with his elect. But in the kingdom, as the brother's saying, <laughs> they're going to be the top of the top. Have the hair back. <laughs> yeah. right. That's all. That's all she wants. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Chill out. <laughs> they they all like that because that weed, right? Because that weed, right? <laughs> all that perm and yeah. shit, they soak in their fucking brain. <laughs> God, with that, we're gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kapodash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to the elect. With that, we're going to say Shalom. 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 Uh, uh,